Hello, my name is Alex Wayne. I'm the creative lead of the UTS Animal Logic Academy. I'm here to introduce you to our studio. Uh, so what we like, what we do here at the academy is replicate a studio environment for the students, uh, which is our point of difference from other educational institutions. Uh, so whereas in other places you might work on a single project by yourself over the course of the year, here, like uh, in the industry, uh, students will work together on a single project together collaboratively. So it's a big point of difference that we do. We separate the students into departments like you'll find elsewhere, into animation, layout, art and so on. And they will work together on a project, on an idea that they have decided on and pitched to us from the beginning of Studio One. So they will get together, they'll come up with lots of ideas that will that we'll work on and then one idea will rise to the top which we decide to move on through to the end of the end of the year. This year uh, they're working on Spirit. Uh, here's some artwork from it which is based on uh, this image was really the one that kind of inspired the whole project. It's about a baby wombat escaping from a bushfire. Uh, it's pretty exciting we've decided to take a more naturalistic kind of idea for this project than previous to last year. Uh, we're doing creature animation, effects, fire, fur, you name it, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. Um, as you can see, it goes from art department through to modelling, design, uh, some effects. Uh, there's quite a lot of things that the students work on over the course of the year uh, before moving to Studio 2, which is more VR component of that. As you know from current circumstances, things are a little bit uh, difficult at the moment, but our students are still able to work on our projects remotely. Currently, uh, students like Heath here is working on our Fire Spirit by remote. They're logging into our VPN servers and are able to access not only the hardware that we have here, but the software specific to their project, whether it's modeling VFX or animation and so on, uh, which is actually pretty cool. So it's still uh, collaborating together, but what we're actually doing at the moment is replicating the industry environment because companies like Animal Logic, ILM, uh, Flying Bark are all working this way at the moment because none of them can be in studio. What's actually pretty exciting is that there's been an influx of funding from government at the moment for animation studios and the animation industry is thriving. Uh, there's a lot of projects coming into Australia at the moment and these practices are what's going to help our students carry forwards and get jobs in the industry uh, from here on in. Uh, so come with me, let's check out some other areas of the studio. Um, as you can see, it's a pretty large space. Uh, pretty fun. We do have some students who are working in studio at the moment or maintaining their 1.5 meter distance. Uh, it's voluntarily of course but you know we like to have it here for those of them who still want to come in and have an experience of the studio. So come with me here and we'll just uh, introduce you to another student who's currently working on our project. Hey Chelsea. Hey. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good. <laughs> good. Um, Chelsea uh, is one of our students working on spirit at the moment. I uh, went through art department and moving on to some other areas as well. So Chelsea, why don't you tell us a bit about your experience at the MAV so far? Well, the MAV this year has been pretty exciting. It's a good opportunity and uh, meeting a lot of people and having a lot of fun in the studio environment. Cool, cool, cool. And what did you work on at the beginning of the year? Uh, we worked on Spirit. So um, we, were, we pitched a bunch of ideas together. Um, and then we, we all picked our favourite and uh, now we're working on it and it's pretty fun to see it coming to life and coming together. Cool. And how have you found working in a collaborative team versus working sort of individually as you did previously? It's, it's so fun. I've made so many friends. Um, but it's, it's a lot different because everyone has their own skill uh, that they're specialised in and so working together uh, it really it really creates something special. It's so exciting. Awesome. And so that's for Spirit. So then in Studio 2 we did a VR project. Um, do you want to tell us a bit about that? Uh, well, in Studio 2 we also did the pitching project uh, process again, uh, but this time we did it to industry professionals, uh, international industry professionals. Um, but we, we had a lot of fun uh, playing around with new and emerging technologies, uh, and seeing what we could create, what we could make. And in the end, we decided for something that's more uh, an experience than a game. So uh, I can't wait to see how it ends up and how it all looks at the end of it. Awesome. <laughs> it's pretty exciting. <laughs> cool. Thanks, Jobs. All right. Uh, thanks, everyone. That's our studio. 
Uh, there should be a link at the bottom of the screen to get more information. Uh, but then Chelsea and I will be available to answer any of your questions in the webinar. Thank you.